Simple but popular modification. Increase the spare ammo by 10%. Yes, give me that immediately. Ooh. Incisor is one of the new wave of military and police sniper rifles de designed to overload active defenses such as shields, firing three shots with each pull. Ooh, okay. Dude, I, uh, I like the sound of this. This sounds great. Let's get this. Increases health by 5%. No. That looks so stupid. No. That looks even worse. No. This is going to take literally all of my money, but 30% increased damage on a sniper rifle? I have to. All right, we're poor now, chat. Fully upgrade a weapon, so apparently. What do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. It's like a non-stop barrage of death. If you can hit anything. These guys are talking about assault rifles. I didn't see any assault rifles for sale. I came here for an assault rifle. I left with a sniper and a bunch of fish. And a hamster. All right, well, you know. This was uh, not what I expected to accomplish by coming to the Citadel today, but it was worth it. No, they're not. You ever been up there? Open up. Say he's a risk, that poor Krogan. Do back to the Normandy. Let's get out of here, chat. Bum, ba, bum, ba, ba, well, I hope the Matic wasn't too good because we didn't get it. But that's fine. Miranda wants to see you, Commander. Miranda wants to see me, okay. What's up with Miranda? What is she doing? I did get a six sniper rifle, you're right. Those upgrades I bought, do I still need to, like, do them at the upgrade station, or do they just work now? Another not where I went, meant to go. Whoops. Ferris Field, I heard. That's not far from New Canton. Did you plant it? Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, who needs new guns when you've got a hamster? You're right. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. All upgrades you buy, you also need to research. That's what I thought. Thank you. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister. A twin. And he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe. Until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical. But she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. All right, so that's just another side quest for us to do. We'll get to that eventually. You get the Madoc on Omega. No wonder I couldn't find it on the Citadel. I thought it was on the Citadel for some reason. You probably still have the stuff for the collector assault rifle research. That's also better than your current one if you want to get that until you have enough money to buy the Madoc. Yeah, we might do that. Let's go open up, open up. Take me up to research. We definitely want to go look at research stuff because we, uh, we just bought a bunch of upgrades. 
So let's do that first, and then, then we're finally going to get to doing some missions and stuff. Redundant field generator. Sometimes when shepherd shields go down, they are instantly fully restored. Really? This is only half of our palladium. You know what? That could that could uh, be a huge deal. Do it. What do I need? Sniper headshot damage. That sounds awesome. Where's the sniper like 30% damage thing that I bought? Where's that at? That's what I really wanted. Unity restore squads to full health. Need more platinum. Requires one more bionic damage upgrade on fort. More platinum. One more tech upgrade. One more damage upgrade. Okay. Yeah, let's try out... Uh, this is only 5,000 iridium. Let's try this out. Collector assault rifle. One more assault rifle damage upgrade. Okay. Time to suck planets dry? Yeah, for real. I don't really think I need that. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Open up. Let me look at what weapons I have set up here. What have we got? Give me the collector assault rifle. Give it a try. I need my new good sniper. Thank you. I like the hand cannon. Particle beam is pretty good. But I also really like Lightning Bolt of Death. Let's go back to the Lightning Shooter for now. May as well, like, put you guys on the new, better weapons. That doesn't take it away from me, does it? Like, we have... Yeah, we have it for everyone. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I want everyone on the hand cannon for that. You need the better sniper rifle, better assault rifle. Alright, I think that's good. Well then, open up. It's the wrong way, never mind. I get a little turned around in this ship, I'm sorry. Sometimes it do be that way. Hi, Kelly. Jacob wants to speak with you, Commander. Ah, of course he does. Right when I'm trying to leave, every time, I'm already on the level with Jacob. Yo, Jacob, what's up, brother? Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gernsback, the ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. 
privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Only one way to find out. Travel to Aya in the Alpha Draconis system? What is this, a D&D &D location? All right. We're finally done talking to people. Do a help Kasumi. Uh, let's not do that just yet. Oh my word, we have so much to do in the Crescent Nebula. This is help Zaid and then some Rosalie thing. Help Miranda, recruit the Justicar, recruit the Assassin, give Liara intel. Help Jacob is over there. Investigate Project Overlord, I believe I was told was the DLC. Recruit Tali. I do want to recruit Tali. I liked Tali. I also want to recruit Liara. And obviously whoever the Justicar and the Assassin are. Let's... Is Tali the only person to recruit who isn't in the Crescent Nebula? It looks like it. Oh, gotta rescue Dr. Kenson. Investigate project. Okay, let's go recruit Tali. And then we'll go to Crescent Nebula and, like, recruit everyone else. <laughs> Hello. So that's where we recruit Tali at. What is with this weird pink jello sun? What is that about? Any planets along the edge around here? Alright. Well, we gotta gotta go exploring first. Karoom! Once a starship refueling station for the Quarians, Karoom has expanded under Geth rule. Thousands of orbital platforms surround the planet and its many moons, refining helium into helium-3. A vast Geth fleet comes and goes between Karoom and Haystrom, preventing all but the most stealthy of spy drones from discovering any information about it. Current estimates place the Geth fleet numbers between 5,000 and 10,000 ships with unknown levels of armament. Travel advisory. Most intelligence estimates state. I can't read. Most intelligence estimates estimates state that approaching Chirum is tantamount to suicide. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Well, I'm gonna scan it though. It's got moderate stuff. I like stuff. I could really go for some more iridium. But I mean, I'll take palladium. Probe launched. You gotta keep in mind that I do not have a lot of money right now. So, oh wait, iridium. Yeah, there we go. Probe Give me that. Launched. Your boy needs that iridium. More iridium? There's at least a little bit here. Not palladium. I want iridium. There we go. That's what I'm looking Launching for. Probe. That's a good, like, thousand iridium right there. We take those. Oh. How have the Geth not found me shooting all these probes? Probe away. Thank you for your platinum. Uh, do a quick sweep and see if any big ones pop up. And if not, then we'll just leave. Yo, iridium. Iridium, though? Uh, palladium. Give me that and then we're out. Launched. Goodbye. What have we got over at this little planet? What's happening here? Gotha! This is where Michael's girlfriend is from. A dwarf planet, Gotha has a pressure cooker atmosphere that brings its surface temperature to a scorching level. Carbon dioxide and ethane are plentiful in the planet's hazy atmosphere. There has been some speculation in the mining community about whether all of the precious metals were mined by the Quarians before they fled the system some three centuries ago. Rivers abound that anyone could have, who could have braved the Geth in the system could find loads of naturally occurring diamond on Gotha, but this is likely just a starship legend. Gotha is in Geth space. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Rich? Rich. I feel like this is the first time I've seen the word rich when scanning a planet. That I can remember. Probe launched. 
Oh boy, this place is rich. Look at all this goodness. I hope it's got a lot more iridium on it. Oh my word, that is the biggest spike of palladium I've ever seen. You know what? I'll hit that one. I need this. Oh, iridium. Thank you. Ooh. There we go. Good amount of element zero. Ton of palladium. Love to see it. You found a planet with Ezo. That's a miracle. It must be my birthday. Oh no, it's moderate now. So you go straight from rich to moderate. Duly noted. I'm not finding... Oh, here we are. I was about to say, I'm not finding any like big amounts of anything anywhere. That'll do. Probe launched. Probe launched. Oh boy. Probe launched. Fork over all your platinum. Yo, we have a 69 in our iridium. You love to see it. Did someone say that they needed platinum, launched by the way? Probe. Because I have so much platinum. Your boy really wants more iridium, though. Where'd that element zero go? Oh, it's already down to poor, I'm realizing now. I mean, it is a small planet. And... Not seeing enough palladium to bother. Alright. Gotha was a big help. Paystrom. Formerly a Quarian colony, Haystrom was established to observe the phenomena of Dolan, the system's parent star. Dolan appeared to be unstable. Do Wait, Dolan is in like that awful version of Donald the Duck? That awful meme version of him? Come and Kiku, thank you so much for the cheer. Greatly appreciated. Dolan appeared to be unstable with a high possibility of erupting prematurely into a red giant. Haystrom was lost to the Geth in 1896 CE. Soon after, all communication from the planet and its attendant space station ceased. The Geth have shown no signs of treating Dolan as a threat over the past three centuries, other than establishing several space stations near it. Dolan's magnetic eruptions and solar output overwhelm most communications near it, and it is unclear how the Geth have compensated. Today, spy probe scans indicate extensive orbital construction around Haystrom, housing thousands of Geth platforms and an unknown number of Geth software mines. It is not known how many Geth are on the planet's surface. Spy probes face interference from Dolan, making remote scanning difficult. Resource estimations based on geth mining, refining, and fabricating practices suggest that the planet has at least 20 more years of use before it is exhausted. Intelligence experts speculate that the geth have not exploited all of the resources because they wish to keep some in reserve for repairs. Travel advisory. Haystrom is a geth stronghold. Military spy drones using cutting-edge stealth technology are the only vehicles that have returned unharmed from geth space. All civilian traffic is prohibited. What a shock. Geth traditionally have strong shields and low health. Oh, we're finally going to fight the geth again? Well, you know, I gotta take Grunt. And I, we're going to get Tali, so, like, if we're going to get Tali, we gotta, we gotta take Garrus. You know, reunite the old friends. I assume that they were friends. 20 years, let's reduce that estimate. Heck yeah, brother.